Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to use the measuring tools in 3ds Max. We're going to start with the measure distance tool. This tool will help us to quickly calculate the distance between two points. We can access it from the tools menu, measure distance. To use it, I recommend to first enable the snaps button, then click your initial point. If we move the cursor, we're going to see a dotted line. This way we know it's working. We can then move the cursor to the next point and click it. We can see the distance in the bottom corner of 3ds Max. The next option we have is the tape helper. To create one, go to the create panel, select the helpers category and choose the tape object type. To measure a distance, click on the initial point. We can see that the tape helper has been created. Then drag it to the second point to create the target. As we have just created the tape, we can see the length in the parameters of the create panel. One of the advantages of the tape is that we can move any of the ends separately and snap them to our objects. For example, we can select a different corner of this room. This can help us to quickly measure different objects in our scene. After doing this, to see the length again, we need to select the tape object, then go to the modify panel, and we should be able to see the parameters there. Another option we have is a specified length. If we enable the checkbox, we can specify a custom length for the tape. Another handy tool we have is the measure utility. To select it, Go to the Utilities panel and click on the Utilities rollout. From there, click on the Measure button to open. With the Measure rollout open, select an object or shape. We can see this object information like surface area, volume, center of mass, or dimension. If we select multiple objects, the Measure Utility will display the sum of their measurements. If both an object and a shape are selected, the utility will display information for both types. If we click on the new floater button, we have access to a float panel with the same information. This is really useful if, for example, we want to see the length of our objects while we are in the modify or create panels. You can also use the lock selection option to prevent the display data from changing when you change the selection. To close the measure utility, click on the close button. The protractor helper is a simple and powerful tool that allows us to measure the angle between a point and any two objects in our scene. To access it, go to the create panel, click on helpers and select protractor. Once you have placed the protractor helper in your scene, you can easily measure the angle between any two objects by clicking the Pick Object 1 and Pick Object 2 buttons and select the object you want to measure. The Protractor Helper will display the angle form between the two objects in the angle parameter. You can move any of the two objects or the Protractor itself to change the angle. And this is how you can use the Protractor Helper to quickly and accurately measure angles in your 3D scenes. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.